Tom five and eight are at your gate. Apparently, they don't know how to use the radio. We don't know if it's true or not about the van, but police were looking for that van, a black SUV, yesterday. Notice how we're like kind of aiming at the cars now after that whole stolen car shindig, just in case. You never know. We might see something, but who knows. I wonder if he's like sleeping in a trash can. Now nah, he's probably scared of that. Cause what if a trash truck comes and throws him in? I was thinking about that. Somebody just said that he can eat out of the trash cans. I was thinking about that because I, that's interesting. I saw something yesterday and I said, this guy could probably be eating out of a trash can. And it was, I mean, I, I believe it, but he's eating fresh fruit. No sightings today. I see some people are asking. So there's been no sightings today.
His mother's in Brazil. Maybe he'll get struck by lightning holding the gun. Would that be an interesting way to end this? I don't know if that'll work, but that'd be nice. Yeah, they've been in the woods. The police, um, somebody asked if the police were in the woods. I mean, they've been in there, but I mean, you need a lot more than the police to go through those woods. I'll tell you that right now. They can use the Marines. I mean, if you, somebody asked about how confident I think the police are about the perimeter, the lieutenant colonel was confident about Longwood Gardens, and look what happened. So I'll leave it at that. Yeah, what we're going to do is probably head back before we started and then head home for the night. So that way we can come back to early. Er. I'm not saying early, early, but earlier. Uh, if you're new to this story, you have a lot to catch up with. Um, go on my Twitter or something or read a lot of news articles a lot, a lot of them because one tweet they turn into 12 articles so I would um, catch up because there's a lot to catch up on if you're just hearing about this Yeah, I'm from Delco. This is like Farmville, like the game. It's all farmland.
let's go around. Is this the one we went around last time? Right? This isn't the same bird, though, right? Or is it? Ooh, we're on Countryville Road. Um, I don't know if the Countryville Road's open. There's no other way. Basically, we're going back to the church and then heading out to the north. Did we go down this road earlier? I don't even know. We're literally... This is such a confusing area. I think it's because we're not from here. We got used to Longwood Gardens area and Pocopson. Or the Pocopson area, I mean. And Kennett Square area, but here... It's a little bit... It's like a new playing field. Um, Seems weird because I thought this was closed. sworn there was a perimeter here. But we're not trying to we're trying to get back to the outside. I think I see the perimeter. Oh yeah I see a perimeter alright actually distance. Where were they going? You saw that? What the heck? Yeah, so I think that's, um, so guys, they're moving in on something. Look, these are all marshals, I think. Hold on. Wait for more to pass. Yeah, guys, look, Homeland Security, they're moving in somewhere. You see that? Look. That's a tactical team. Maybe they're pulling out. Is there any more coming? That was weird. Looks like they pulled out. Yeah, we're back. Huh. That was interesting. It looks like they left. 
They're all leaving, guys. Look, they're pulling out of country road. Um, okay. Well, isn't that something? Um. I'm going to mute it for a second. Or, give me a minute. Let me run out. And just make sure. Everything's cool. So, give me a sec. Now they're leaving. But give me a second. I did, and none of them are answering. I think that... Wow, guys, they're moving in heavily. Um, yeah, should we go? I don't know, I don't know what they're doing. That's a lot. Look, they're all moving out and up that way. Yeah, I think the perimeter's changed. I think they're changing the perimeter. That would make sense. They all just went up that way. We, we just came from that way. That's weird. Um. Yeah, the scanner's dead. That's weird. Let me see if anybody's... What about shift change? Um, the shift change shouldn't be until... Didn't they have it at 7? What sh kind of shifts are they on? Alright guys, give me a sec. Let me hop out. That's weird.
All right, guys, we're going. Um, we're gonna go to a nearby spot that's right there. Hopefully we can get in. Um, so we're gonna go, obviously, because we said we'll go if something happens and something's happening, so off to the races we go. Um, so Ridge Road is closed, so that's not gonna work. Let me double check. Twenty five hundred. We're gonna go on another, take another route. So bear with me, because they obviously are gonna start setting up a perimeter. Um, all right, we're gonna try. We'll find out. Let's go. Holy cow, is it cold out here? I'm freezing, I'm like shivering. Um, so we're gonna go to the prior, uh, the, that's weird, we were on that block um, yesterday. Okay. Interesting. That's probably why they're not answering me. So we're going, it's a prizer. It sounds like a very fluid situation. Um, because they're actively, they're pretty chatty on the radio. 
It's only we'll we'll come to thirty five. Yeah, we're gonna go first. Due east of Little directly in the woods is where they're kinda of pushing. Due east of Little. Oh, okay. You know, one uh, seven David twenty five. I know that it's gonna be closed to make a right, so let's try going the way they went. We're gonna move you back a little higher towards Cloud Town Pike. If you can position yourself along that time between thirteen thirty three and Cloud Town Pike. Okay. All right, guys. So, if you want to start heading down, go where your unit is at Little's and try and go to the south east west side of it. Position yourself there. We're trying to create a little wall. Okay, let me know. Copy that. Yeah, two, two, Sam, one, call eight, copy, happy. Burglary alarm, level one, Donovan Way. Code invite the homeowner, alarm went off about nine minutes ago. I-25 will be there. Copy that. We're trying to create a perimeter on the prize or pot sound flight side. They're still trying to push it south and east. Shoot. Um, once all the dispatch, we might get locked out with a perimeter. You know, 11739. Like I said, you're trying to go to the south side a little. Looking flexible if we need to move you a little farther south. Okay. I'm here now. I can't see. The ID card scanner at Smith Hall in both entrances is not working. Alright, so we're gonna try another route. Copy all the same. Wait for the guy behind us. You know, 7 to 25, you're in a good position right there. Nothing. All right, guys, we're going to the um, heat signature. Again, it's not a confirmed sighting, but it's a heat signature that's rather interesting because nobody's running into the woods in this um, except an escapee, I'd imagine. So we're going to head there and see what's going on. sighting um, from heat signatures. Again, it's not a confirmed sighting, but it's rather unusual that a heat signature, like, nobody's running into the woods right now except for um, somebody that shouldn't be there. It's not a deer, because the way the deers are picked up, for example, there'll be three circles, three heat indexes, and on a human, it'll have like six. So they can tell the difference between a human and a deer. So this could be something rather interesting. You guys saw they kind of shifted that perimeter rather quickly. Homeland and everybody was driving by us. We thought they were leaving, but they were actually going, let's go anyway, because it looks like it's open. They were actually going to this Yeah, guys, you guys know where we're going. Um, we should be there in 
three minutes. To get, again, it's important to remember, like, don't get all excited because we just don't know. Um, he's been rather good at evading everybody, and I think it's appropriate to get excited when we hear that he's either captured or, in, um, mur or killed. Um, there's no in-between. Other than that, there's no excitement, you know? So let's hope that this is it, and let's hope that it's finally over, but we just don't know, but we don't know. Um... Yeah, so again, we're going from zero, uh, okay, never mind, I thought that was headlights. We're going from zero to 100 rather quickly when it comes to development in this case. They kind of just happen, and that's what we've witnessed time and time again. Um, they've been very rapid. All units in current location, just hold your position. I haven't got an update on the heat signature yet. Okay, so see, guys, they don't have enough data yet. It could be that the... It could be three... If it's three circles... Yes, we it's do a, have one. It's a oh, deer. should be making their way to the door now? It could be a deer. It could be... That this road is closed. 239 Milton Drive, Cross Street, between and Quick Morning. Southbound Township, Beach on there. Eight ninety four. I'll be clear from now on. Eight ninety Okay. Are we going to go straight or left? Uh, are we able to go straight or left? Or left? Are we able to go straight or left? Seventy-one Williams, right? We're right. I'm sorry. Right. 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 Which way can we go? Which way can we go? Uh, you can probably go straight. Where are y'all coming from? Uh, so we came from what's that church? Coventry Church or whatever on Old Ridge Road. Back there? No, over the media. I'm sorry? Media. Oh, the media. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're relocating. Yeah, so. Alright. Go straight. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, go ahead. Sir. Alright. Cool. Yeah, y'all can go straight through. Alright. Just don't stay right here, okay? Alright, yes, sounds sir. good. Thank you. Stay Thank safe. You. Watch him. Alright, cool, guys. So we're gonna go straight and see where that takes us. But again, um, we're going to a potential heat signature. Yes, sir. Uh, hold on. Hi. Yes, sir. I'll back the yeah, fire away so we can get through. All right, no, cool. We could get through. We could get through. Oh, right. that's good. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You guys stay safe. Unit 2501. Yeah, boy. All right, cool guys, so we're trying to go around um, okay. a perimeter. Yeah, All right, there's also a ball on the front, and there's a way in. So we lost somebody that was with us. Um, give me a minute. Go straight by Sunoco. Keep going straight there. Share my location. Um, I'm such a noob when it comes to this. Just give me a sec.
so we're gonna see if we end up getting around any of this. Um, they're rather quick at establishing perimeters now, so we shall see what we can get. Um, we can make a right up here. Alright guys, so you know where we're going. Um, there's a possible heat signature. And again, we don't know if it's a human or a deer, but a deer would have like three um, circles and a human should have like six. So it's possible that it's a human. If it's a human, obviously it's alarming because nobody should be running into the woods. And that's very close to kind of where we were yesterday, 1300 block. We were on the 1100 block prizer so that's definitely interesting this kind of all circles back to where we were yesterday we were gonna go earlier to prizer but look, this is closed let's go straight oh no wait there's nowhere to go straight let me see are there any all right well let's try it it's worth a shot everything's worth a shot um, but again um, we're going to, I believe there's a, let me see where, but there's a store right next to it. J. Roberts High School. So see if we can make a, a right, I guess? Or do they have to make us turn around? Try to turn around, I guess. They're not going to let us there. We gotta, we gotta Alright guys, so again, there's really no way right now to do that. Uh, this route, so we're going to try another route. <laughs> we're going to keep trying. Um, until there's a safe area that's obviously outside of the perimeter, but, um, again, um, given the fact that Cavalcante is accused of possibly having assistance, we're not trying to race into a scene, you know, you don't want to be mistaken as somebody that's there to aid the escapee. So we're trying to get as close without appearing suspicious you know what I mean so again um, right now what we know is
Yeah, we're trying to get there, guys. We don't have a helicopter, so bear with us. Alright, I'm playing dispatch. All units operating prior and pause sounds like PEA hit a break off the drone. Last known heat signature was along the Beaver Run Creek in your general area. Once again, last known heat signature was in the area of Beaver Run Creek in your general area. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Beaver Run Creek. Quarter two zero eight. Try going straight. Yeah, I'm your copy. Into 27, too. Yeah, Jerry, I'll your status. 10-4. Everything appears to be secure. Is there a sonar? Yeah, Jerry, I'll tell you. Yep. Tank rate, Ralph. Tank rate. Okay, so we might have another round. Yeah, yeah, I'm seven, you guys. Full seven, that's good. Everything appears to her. Yeah, I'm full seven, okay. All units operating prior to impasse sounds like the EA hit a break off the drone. Last known heat signature was along the Beaver Run Creek in your general area. Once again, last known heat signature was in the area of Beaver Run Creek in your general area. Let's hope that this is it. It would be... Um, so you guys saw the police response. 11, 1232 and 93 looks like they're pushing from east to west. They just crossed Beaver Creek. So we're going to be pushing towards you to the north. Now you go. You're not full seven up here. Try to make a right. So we're seven minutes away if there are no more roadblocks. This is like a safari. Isn't that something? I mean, I don't know, maybe if we see him, we'll run him over, but no promises. Right now we're on a road that's not on the map. So I don't even know. Um, give me a minute. I don't even know how we just If he runs into the road, we don't have to be careful. He does. Um, he's going to get hit. So, I mean, he, he shouldn't be in the area. I mean, he should be in prison, so... 
No, we're not lost. We're on a road that doesn't exist, and the GPS just has a blue line. So, they definitely don't have this as part of the perimeter, because if they don't know the main roads, because a lot of these troopers are from out of town, so they def definitely don't know this road. I mean, it's open. It's not on the map. That's kind of suspicious, but whatever. Let me get the scanner back up. I mean, it keeps losing signal, so every time the mod tells me scanner, I, I jump on, but let me check it again um, for any updates. Nothing. Yeah, it's all the new stuff in Sydney. Hi. Call us at Maple. There's nothing new on the scanner. I don't even know where we are. Now we're on Flower Springs Road. We're four minutes out, but I don't know if we're gonna get close. I don't know, we'll find out. So guys, he escaped the perimeter, somebody's right. So there you have it, um, JD Jenny. He literally, is, if this is him, that perimeter, once again, is useless. Um, this would be the second time, at least, that he somehow escaped a perimeter. It's kind of mind-boggling when you think about it. Um, definitely interesting. Third time. I I'm losing track. So he escaped Water Glen. He escaped Longwood. He escaped Longwood twice. He escaped Water Glen. He escaped Lenape. He escaped uh, whatever perimeter they had today, if this is him. Because this is a weird per Watch the, uh, I kind of can't even tell the herd from the uh, dirt. Yeah, just extra slow. You can't tell back here. Like extra, extra. Um, again. This guy is escaping the perimeter left and right, so... Son of a... So let's go left. What would you like? Not you. Okay. I Guys, this perimeter looks kind of wild. Um, trying to figure out. So I'm gonna, if we run into another roadblock, we're gonna have to check out. Um, like, uh, we have to look at the map very closely. Um, because It looks like they're getting better at it, at least establishing a perimeter, not necessarily keeping him in the perimeter. Because by the time it's established, he's gone. Oh boy. I feel like I'm on a boat. But, um. Alright, there's an update. Is at Pryor and Hot Family. Actually, they just crossed the creek, still pushing left. It's permanent, and you might as well start my own call hook for uh, a Subaru of heavy front end damage, and uh, heavy front end damage to the Honda as well. I need a copy. Lala, number two, East Road Avenue, for a theft. Three male subjects came to the store, stole several items, was last seen heading northbound on High Street going into town. No weapons, 
no intoxication. So several items of food. Very well, sir. Thanks, sir. Two bill sixty five. They have a vehicle description on Long High Street now. So we're gonna when we get to the stop sign, we're gonna look at the back road. Nothing that's not necessary difficulty. Echo Lake North Tower, nine hundred Atwater Drive, third floor, apartment three thirty nine, thirty three nine. Supervising in sleep education. Call with eighty forty miles short of breath. According to eighty two year old female for the week. Just follow forty one, okay? Make three. Echo Lake North Tower. Not only half water drive. Third floor, apartment three thirty nine. Stuff in task, that's three point. Five two close to your phone, sir. Okay. Five two close to your phone, sir. Rescue me, I'm not sure of the other. Two lines seven, two lines and eight, tank three, you can all return. Yeah, copy of few registrations. Kind of Alright, let's see if this works. Delta Alpha 733 Lima on a Subaru. Kilo Romeo Whiskey 8717 on a Honda. I agree. And finally, Zulu Sierra Romeo 4245. Is a prior and cause found in fact unit just across the creek, still pushing left. It's permanent, and you might as well start my own call hook for uh, a Subaru heavy front end damage, and uh, heavy front end damage would be Honda as well. I need a copy. He's Three male subjects in the store stole several items from last week heading northbound on High Street going into town. No weapons, no intoxication. He took several items of food. Yeah, we're flying through. Okay, go ahead and go with your uh, BLS on it. Yeah, that's perfect. We'll be going with our resources and we'll get information. So. Copy, we'll call for two. Very well, sir. What's up with these people screaming on the radio? Thanks, Paul. Alright, if you want to set up where one side of eight is, 62 is, and just take a position there and just keep that boundary. I will send a novel. You will take 1241 to be travel time for flames. Do you have any update on Andrews? Can you repeat that transmission? Frank, one through nine, control head, warmer lead secure. Okay. Keep on going, Eddie, what's going on? Will and I will handle this now. That is a weird road. I don't know what that is. That doesn't say anything, so that's a, whatever. But, um, He's on to you, Paul, did you say? Five two one three six Seven five seven two. Eight four five. Two units in reference to the staff. Side comes back to a 2009 Ford SUV. We're in the area of uh, browser Avenue. We're available if needed. All right. If you want to set up where one side of eight is, 62 is, and just take a position there and just keep that boundary. I don't think. I don't think that one. Here, we'll take 1241. It's going to be travel time for a flank. Do you have any update on injuries? Can you repeat that transmission? 
Frank, 129, Pearl K, Warfare Legion Secure. Okay. Keep on going, and you know what's going on. Well, I'll handle this now. Stand up, bro. Could you send me the email? Five, Sam, two. Yeah, seven, five, Sam, two. Confirms the card reader is displayed permanent block. The only way it can be opened is from the inside manually. Guys, I'm so. Like a lot of the roads are closed. Um, we can go this one because this is closed coming in. 65 Sam 41. Do you want me to go over to the Southeast Street address to see if the cars are there? But it's not closed coming out, so. <laughs> 65 Sam. Yeah, we're trying to get to um, the area. Same, dude, same condition on the rear. Of an apparent area. heat signature going from the silos into the woods, into the woods, and then into um, the area of Beaver Creek. I'll be out the wall, said that's as close as we can get is um all right so we're gonna go to well that's in florida so
Wow, the thunder is insane. Um, I'm waiting. I mean, we're going, but I'm waiting for a better location because... So any locals that are watching, can you guys reach out to the mods and let them know on YouTube um, what your opinion is on what the closest vantage point would be? Alright, so we'll try Pew Town. Give me a second, let me put a new address in. Pew Town. Try this.
27 days or 25. You guys have an idea where the uh, heat energy is? Negative, no air assets in the road. Last word on Beaver Creek, just to the left of the bank. Assets are in the woods, pushing. We don't have any air assets just now while this one's over here. Channel 641 is responding. 1130 West Coast Break. Copy that. Probably about 100 yards out south of the correction north of me. Uh, there's a light. I can't tell what it is. I don't know if it's anybody uh, friendly in there or not. It's staying in one area. It's uh, lights up, disappears, lights up again. It's uh, disappeared now. Okay, if it's due north of you, just on the other side of that pond, it's going to be one of the assets. Yes, I, I have contact for the Sean Jordan Shelling. Copy that. Copy that. All units on the inner perimeter are requesting lights to be activated. Lights to be activated. Do you have the tag of the fire they put out? 294, that car is going to the new street garage. Your pleasure. You didn't take care of this all day, you that vehicle is in the New Street Garage.
Just give me a second. We're trying to get um, a route that's going to work. Um, the winery is in the middle of the perimeter. Alright guys, I think we might have a route, I don't know. Frank, 129, Colton, you're going to have to rescue. Yes, I teach you, what do you want to do? Take seven, you want to take five? It won't work. Take seven, Molly, do you want to take? You want to take five? What do you want to
Beach assets are sleeping in the woodline just north of you, just north of the house. Okay. You just north of the house. Okay. Unit at thirteen thirty three, just be by that fetch and kill some north of you, still on the woodline. The assets are sleeping in the woodline just north of you, just north of the house. The assets are sleeping in the woods? What did that say? What assets are asleep in the woods? I don't know if I got that right. Oh, sweeping. Okay. I was like sleeping. I'm getting tired, that's why. Alright. Yeah guys, it looks like they actually have a perimeter for once. Wow. That's impressive. Let's see if Hong can crack it. Find out. Got a car on going on north of us. Which unit and where? One seven David twenty five, just north of us. South. One seventeen thirty nine. That was in the parking lot of the John Deere. We were accidental. Alright, copy, it was in the parking lot of John Deere. You want to call 35? Just want to confirm that vehicle is in the parking lot where you're located and it is secure. 35, I can hear it on the front of the building. It must be over there. Copy that on the front of the building, that's well. Thank you. One seven can turn on. I can see the pickup truck. Copy that.
one big sloppy new turn. I guess it's taking into account the road closure now, so that's good. That's closed. Um, one second.
All right, we're gonna follow a local who pulled up and see if he can get us there. If not, we'll wait for an update. Obviously, there's no way in. We're going to try with the local. Speed racer up there. Um, okay. That's a stop sign. Maybe we can tear about that other guy. Anyway, um, we're going to try to get close. If we can't, it is what it is. Uh, we're waiting for any updates. Obviously, he's not. I mean, like we've said before, it could end one of three ways. Capture, escape, or kill. Uh, trying to get closer, but... So let's see if this guy can do it.
it's a good sign that a lot of, of the roads are closed because that means that they kind of have it cornered for once, um, which is pretty rare in this manhunt. Um, this is the first time, actually, that we can't get that close. So it's good that they have stepped up their game, obviously. Um, it's good for the community because if we can't get in, I'm sure that any associates he has are having problems if he has any getting in. You know, so, and I don't think he does have any associates, like, driving. I don't know, but you never know, which is good that they have, um, that much of a presence where they're shutting that much stuff down. Um, it's surely interesting, to say the least. Is that even open? Yeah. We're literally driving around in, like, not circles, but, oh, well, yeah, I guess we are driving around. Like, this is a circle, not a very, we're kind of doing the same pattern he does, like a zigzag. Um, but, again, it's kind of good that they have this presence blocking just about every entry and exit from the area. It's definitely good. Again, guys, so we're going like, right now there's, I'm not sure if it's a suspected sighting, but it's more so a thermal heat signature that was picked up, um, running into the woods from silos on Prizer Road. It's, now it's been a, about an, over an hour, I would say, um, since they picked it up. So they've been pushing the woods. I believe they hit the drones are back up. That's pretty much what we know. Um, there's barns that are wide open to my left and my right. Um, if you're watching this and you live in the area, definitely lock up.
Maybe he knows another route on this road. I guess we'll find out in a minute. But again, um, doesn't look like we're going to get that close, so it won't make a difference where we are um, if we don't get somewhat close. Um, let me find out from the mods, but yeah, so if we don't get too close, what we're going to, yeah, we did, but we're following a, a local, so we'll see if it's any different, but I don't know. I just don't see it happening, getting that close. So this is as close as we're going to get for right now. Um, again, guys, I'm not sure what is going on, if, if it is actually, um, yeah, so, I mean, this is as close as we're going to get, so, let's see, let's go. Check this scanner. So there's no updates. I mean, this is the closest one. Yeah, yeah this is the closest. I tried my last year. Yeah, it doesn't make it better. But it doesn't look like there are any updates yet. I'm trying to get it. Text some people, but. Yeah, this is as close as we're going to get for right now. Let me see on the map. So, right now we are on. On the 800 block of Pew Town Road in Spring City, it's it says it's in the perimeter of the spot we're in, on the map at least. I don't see Beaver Creek. Oh, it's Beaver Run. Yeah, that's what I figured. It's the closest you're going to get to anything station right now. Let's say it'd be a run. Yeah. Alright, well, 
we'll sit up for a little bit here and see if anything happens. But we're on the 14th, or no, 13th day. Let me double check. 13th day of the manhunt. Let me see if I can find any answers. I'm going to put the scanner on for you guys. I want to figure this out. But I think this is as close as we'll realistically get. Yeah, I mean, we're semi-close. Here's like a little map that somebody sent me. Where that arrow and that circle is the is where they are. So, I mean, given the fact that it's a manhunt, they obviously bolstered their security here, which is good. No, it's a 13th day. I'm pretty sure. I think the 14th day would be um, Thursday. No, oh, today's day 14. Yeah, um, haven't gotten much sleep, so bear with us. Um, if we don't hear anything in like the next, I would say, 30, 40 minutes, we're obviously going to head out. So we can get back tomorrow. I don't know if they're going to catch anybody tonight, but you never know. Um, they haven't been too lucky so far. Let's hope that now they get a little bit luckier. Um, he's had a really good playing field, uh, Cavalcante. He's been able to use this terrain to his advantage. And let's hope that the authorities are closing in on him. Again, don't forget, this is a joint effort by state, local, and federal officials, everybody from the FBI to the U.S. Marshals um, to Border Patrol to, I mean, you name it, they're here, everybody but the CIA and the military, essentially. So the guy was able to get pretty far from the original um, location. If he hadn't stopped at a co-worker's house, he likely would have gotten much farther. Far, like much further than this likely out of state by now but the former co-worker was a setback a major setback for him because he called the police and he tried to report them but they didn't take it serious and obviously it's serious CP to eight two four five command post two eight two four five Eight two four over five. Uh, I just want to confirm you're on Prize Road between North Coventry Car and Wind Farm Lane, correct? Stand by. One seven, David twenty five. Be advised, my vehicle's unmarked. Can you afford SUV? So he did make it pretty far from his initial escape. Again, so guys, our exact location 
is Let me double check. The 800 block of Pew Town Road, which realistically isn't that far, but at least it's at a safe distance and out of the way um, of law enforcement. So they did a good job at holding a perimeter. As far as vehicles are concerned, Yeah, this is Pew Town Road, and it might turn into Pew 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 if he comes running out. But, we'll see. Yeah, more like bang, bang, bang. Let's hope. Let's hope that they get rid of them um, once and for all. It'll be closure for the community and also the victim's family, who I'm sure are mortified of what has unfolded in the past two weeks. The man who brutally killed their daughter, sister, mother um, broke out of a jail and returned full circle back to the area where the crime was committed. They're obviously scared, mortified, as they should be. And the commu community has been, I mean, shaken, obviously. Um, school closures, uh, detours going home, a murderer on the loose. So, at the end of the day, it would be a good way to start the morning and ended on the 14th day and I like even numbers so that would be good but at this point you guys know the story and you don't really need updates there are no updates except what you guys watched uh, unfold in real time we were heading out and a heat signature was detected at a nearby uh, silo that was a, a man running into the woods. It was believed to be a man running into the woods. Is there any update in the scanner? I have it on, but the service here isn't the greatest. Oh, I see it. Somebody grunted into the radio, guys. It's not really an update. Um, but, oh, here's one. 17, David, 25. Anybody else on Pfizer? You guys hear that noise a second ago? Kind of like possibly a uh, low caliber. Profile. They're saying it sounds like a. a, a Hold on. Turn a low caliber discharge. One two seven. Turn a low caliber discharge. 
So units are hearing a low caliber coming from the west. So they apparently heard a, what appears to be a low caliber. Okay, so between 1401 of Kaiser and 1451 wind farm. So it could have been a branch. So it could be a, a trooper that moved the branch. Now they're saying it's a walnut that hit a tree. Okay, we are checking with that. Okay. 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 It's a walnut hard top. Riser, hot ground plate, please turn on your overhead. Please turn on your overhead. So a bear catcher show ball. Uh, and, the, and there goes cert team. Another. Okay. Have your headlight on. Turn your headlight on. So we are, let me see the, we're half a mile away from Prizer, from here. Um, I don't know if you guys can, I don't want to show your names. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see right here, but we're about half a mile from that. 
So if you go to the light right here and make a left, it's up the road. And we were on Prizer on the 1100 block when this first started in this area. Um, I believe yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday that we were on Prizer, which is kind of bizarre that this is all going back to that area. So this is a second dramatic night. Um, I would call it dramatic because of the fact that they believe they have him again. Um, just by the radio communications. Thanks, Noel. If you guys are close by, or you live on Prizer, or in the affected area, if you want to send me um, video or photos, I can share them anonymously. Or if you'd want to FaceTime, obviously, that's a that's an option. We've done that before at Water Glen. So if you live in the area, let's either hop on a FaceTime or shoot me over some videos um, in the DM. If you're on YouTube, reach out to the mods. If you're on Twitter, um, so the helicopters are actually coming in right now, I hear them, or oh, helicopter, let's see if we can see it. Wow, so what is that guys, like 700 feet? It's rather low, maybe 800? That's pretty low. Let me see if I can get the camera to zoom. See if this is a better angle. Um, again, so we're about a half a mile away from where everything seems to be unfolding. Um, it circled back to the area of Prizer where that sounds very low.
So again, guys, remember, we're on day 14, and we've seen this time and time again. So it's best we obviously wait before anybody gets excited. Um, you just never know with the way this is um, going and how it's unfolded in the past two weeks. I'm going to actually grab a stand. We're going to set up for a little bit. Again, we're about a half a mile from um, Kaiser.
Yeah, guys, we're good. Uh, we're just trying to find out if there are any updates. I don't know if there are. Um, Hopper is just circling. Nah, I'm not taking a nap yet, but I'm gonna at this point.
All right, guys, we're going to get a little closer. Um, again, we are, the area is in the, um, it's on YouTube. We're going to set up a little closer up here. I had my, my little map thing going on a little bit longer, but this is kind of when I, uh, this is right when I started, this is when I started following where you were at. That's oh, the, shit. that's how we got here. Me and the, ABC, right? ABC Philly or something? CBS.
that guy's a little snag and everything. We really have no updates. You guys know how it works. So, as soon as we hear something, you'll hear something. So we're going to give you probably like 40 minutes, I'd say, before we head out. Um, so let's hope that something happens. That way we can come back tomorrow in case they don't capture him, which is a possibility. Uh, we've been seeing this now for, I, want a bit, I mean, two weeks, you know, so. Welcome to the party. Look at this character.
helicopters have like thermal imaging I would presume. Yeah. And that's why this is they think they caught yeah. it. I have people in Brazil that are like dumbfounded that I'm like right here. <laughs> I told them I was carrying a knife and they're like, no, that's legal. I was like, I yeah. <laughs> you know? No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's waiting for his ride. Where's he from in Brazil? I don't know. Amazon. I think it was something like that. Some rainforest area. Or not rainforest. Like, uh, I don't even know. Wilderness. Maybe like that sounds like country, so maybe like the middle or northern Brazil. Yeah. So did he shoot one of his friends over a dispute over money not being paid as well? Because I know he killed his ex in Brazil, and then and then I think I'm hearing stories on on Portuguese websites saying he also killed another. One of his friends over the dispute over not paying him back or something, and they took eight days to issue a warrant, and that's when he went to America because it took so long to issue it. So, technically, I think it could be either two or three people. It's definitely two. But I'm just like worried because he's got nothing to do. It's like, if he's like running out of resources and he just wants to, like, what if he's like, oh, I just want to have fun? And they just like go off with that. Yeah, like, exactly. The reporters, the police, let's just have fun. Like, that would be, that would suck. Hopefully they're done with the clip in the Well, I mean, he didn't grow up with guns in Brazil and it's got a scope on it. And for a Brazilian to be faced with a scope, he's probably like trying to read Chinese. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the best thing he could probably do is, especially in close combat with a scope, is just kind of like, hope he aims. It's, yeah. I mean, I don't know. They said they thought they heard two gunshots earlier, but it was walnuts. So is that how small walnuts? these bullets are? Yeah, like walnuts are fucking fucking a tree. You know, it's way too easy to kill the world. Oh my god. I mean, it, it, it hurts you. I mean, it, it, it's right, right the right spot. It's a walnut. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I don't see any updates on the scanner. Oh, never mind. Oh, we're not going to hear it. I didn't catch any of that, so give me a sec. Wait, what's the meaning of it? It's not custody, it's not humility. That's fine, but... Um, let me try to break that down. They're saying he shot a student six times in public by a boot truck over money owed for mechanic work. Yeah, 
Oh, they're on it. They know because there's Brazilians in there. Okay. Oi, tudo bem, meu brasileiros? Represente Brasil. Yeah, that, that cop just got whiplash. He thought he hurt Kavalan. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> he looked right over. <laughs> but um, all right. Well, that was interesting. Um, let's hope they catch him tonight. Do what? <laughs> We've got some, um, yeah, there's Brazilians. That's funny. That's okay. Let's see the Yeah, I'm not trying to hop in the way. We're not going to see them getting handcuffed, you know? No, that'd be a great shot. It's just not going to happen. And on top of that, we're probably going to shoot them. I don't know. They might not shoot them. Because they, they've missed, they had like a lot of. They get so quiet out of nowhere. Sorry, you lot. I'm not going to be here for that long. I mean, I'll be here for like another hour and a half. Probably going to be, give or take, half of that. We're not going to get a shot of him getting, you know what I mean? There's like, even if he's handcuffed, we're not going to see him until they do the park walk. If it, I mean, that, and that's a big if. It's not like going to, honestly, if they see him, they might, shh, I don't know. If he has the gun in his hand, he's going to get shot. Oh, they're shooting. Yeah, so. Same with those fucking people just gets away in the woods, And we'll dude. be back tomorrow. That's crazy. So, we don't know yet. It's too early to tell. What time did the call come in? Or not the call, let me see. What time was the initial dispatch? That's a little bit. It's been a while. What's interesting is earlier tonight there was another call on Prizer on like the same house, for, not the same house, but the same block for a kid being outside, remember? And now they're back there again. That's bizarre. Oh, wow. That's just way. Who plays in that field? What field? In the cornfield? I mean, that's a little bit scary. I wouldn't. Yeah, I was scared in the cornfield, so I don't know about, um, Pfizer. Oh, it's Pfizer? Oh, it's Pfizer. So, wait, okay, I was right. So, what are you guys talking about? But, um, I said Pfizer, right? So, oh, did I? Okay. Yeah, I said Pfizer. Okay. I'm getting tired. Obviously. Uh, but we're not going to see him getting hit or shot. And we're not going to see him run across the street. I mean, that would be cool. Still 50-50 if he even gets caught. You know what I mean? Because he's escaped so many times. So, I mean, I wouldn't put it past him to get away from this And a lot of you guys have work or school. Well, some locals don't have school, I would assume. But. But, anyway. Uh, 
Oh, that's CPS guy. He's a little sneaky, isn't he? He ran up the street. That, that would be bad. That's kind of dangerous. <laughs> yeah, he, he might get the shot. Not the right one. I wouldn't go up that way. <laughs> Not, if there's a... Like, again, um, this is a, a violent individual that's on the run. So, if you see him, guys, call 911. So the call came in at, not the call, the dispatch, let me see. At one o'clock in the morning, we're going into four, so that's three hours. So, I'm sure there'll be a perimeter tightened around this area um, tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But, I don't know. We tried to get on that road for like an hour and a half. How did this guy do it? If you're watching and you know him, tell him to text us. I'd love to know. Alright guys, I'm trying still. I'm trying to get in. Follow CBS's lead, but he's going to be a fugitive if he doesn't turn back. Yeah, guys, I'm tired, so I'm going to head out in a couple minutes. Probably like 20.
I'm not sleeping, not yet. Uh, Ten minutes. Or fifteen. Obviously I'll keep you up here, but we're not gonna hear anything from here that we won't hear from the road, and if they don't catch them, we're trying to come back to normal. So we're gonna head out a little bit. It's not a confirmed sighting, but there was a thermal sighting um, where they picked up a heat, where they picked up a heat signature um, near the 1100 block of Prizer, which is where we were actually yesterday. So that's kind of interesting. But yeah, that's only update. They're searching the woods. They've searched the woods before. So. Either he gets caught, he gets killed, or he gets arrested. That's about it.
We're going to start slowly breaking it, because I'm not sure how this is going to end. I think we're going to be back tomorrow. Yeah, we're probably gonna slowly get out of here. So we're gonna like pack up slower, just in case. But I really don't think there's gonna be any. I don't know, how, but I think they have a good way, which is good because you can only get so far, and I think that's their goal. So that way, kind of keep them away from moving until the morning, and then once it gets light out, catch them and fall asleep or something.
Yeah, I know, but like, is it moved with you? Oh, yeah. Like, that's how I came here, right? Like, I mean, when you have that tomorrow? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's up in the air. But watch it be this time. But nobody's going to get a photo of him in cuffs. Definitely not shot. Like, they're not going to get a picture of that. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're probably going to go, but I'll stay live a little bit. I don't know if you want. Um, it's up, it's 50-50 as far as I know, but it looks like they have an idea of where he is. So we'll stay on for a little bit, but head out because... We want to come back tomorrow when they look for him again. If he manages to like escape the perimeter, <laughs> which isn't out of like, I mean, it, it can happen. He's done it several times, so I don't know. I wonder if he's running with a gun. That would be interesting. I don't know if he's running with a gun. But all right, all right. See you guys tomorrow. I'll put it up tomorrow. The location. Probably here, unless they move the perimeter, but...
Alright. So. We'll stay up here on the way home. And see if they end up catching him. Looks like it's getting closer at least, which is good for obviously the locals and the law enforcement who are tired of it. A lot of people are tired of it. And that looks like we can get out of it. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm heading out. So, what we're gonna do is probably cut it in like 20 minutes, so we can wake up tomorrow and come in to this. Nah, no wild road road trip, you called it. That's funny. Nah, tomorrow, and we'll even go to like the perp walk if they do it, just to go if they catch them. Which I don't, I mean, if they, I think if they catch him, they're going to kill him. We'll go visit him at the morgue and show you guys, like, the outside of the place and that. I don't know. Just, I don't know what they do in that situation when he's killed. But what we're going to do is sleep a little bit. No, it was just neighbors and um, some cool, like, locals that are going to come by tomorrow. That's what I mean, like, a lot of. The locals here are pretty cool. Um, like it's a really cool community. So they wanted to go back to normal. Obviously, everybody's fed up and tired. They want to go back to the normal routine. I don't think this is an embarrassment to law enforcement at all. It, well, except to the lieutenant colonel because of the whole law enforcement thing. But other than that, they're doing a good job. Yeah, if he popped out, we'd have to hit him. We're not going to, you know. Yeah, literally, I don't know. I get bored sitting at and watching. Like, I, I can watch the tactical teams and stuff, but watching a cop stand there and block a road is crazy. No, nah, we're like 15 minutes right now. He probably is running through the field. If he, I mean, I don't know, they have that crazy, like, ground radar thing that came in. I don't know if they brought it. I'm sure they have it here on Prize or App, like, or Road. I would hope. Oh, it sounds like the ground radar might be leaving, too. So, if they're leaving, that's kind of, that means that it's over, but I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, I'm looking at the chat right now. I mean, that's what I'm going off of. I don't think there's a, a large Brazilian community. We just met a, a guy that lived in Brazil. 
and he was speaking, I think, Portuguese. That was kind of cool. Maybe he was, um, I asked him if he knew him. He said no. Are there really seven? Like, what do you, yeah, actually, you're right. I did, we did meet, like, I think five or six. So that's a good, that's a good amount of Brazilians in the area. And they were very nice. But I have a feeling we'll be back tomorrow because, um, I don't know, this is becoming like a habit. So it's going to be exciting when they finally catch them and put an end to it. So that'll be cool. Like, I don't know how cool it is to sit at a roadblock. So, especially when the same thing, like, the cop was playing the same radio that we had on. So, like, whenever, like, whenever ours went off, his went off. So, if they switched, we couldn't hear it from there. So, they're using one that even he doesn't know. Yeah, we're going to follow it to the end, but I don't think that it's going to end tonight. I don't think that's my, I mean, I don't think so, but it could, or this morning, but it could. I just don't think so. Oh yeah, a working, that's not a bad idea, uh, Perimeter, that'd be a good movie. I want to get here by 12 tomorrow, but I'm thinking we'll be here by 12. French Creek? No, I'm not staying there. That's scary. Oh, my God, run there. Perimeter. That's going to be a funny word. serious this was the first time we couldn't get in the perimeter that's a that's a fact we were technically in it yesterday like directly in it that's where they went the 1100 block we should have slept there you would have been pissed we would have seen everything if we stayed there we would have seen the dude running by that would have been wild but he probably would have shot us. I don't know. Maybe not. He doesn't want to waste his bullets. Oh, that was tiny. Oh. Oh. There was a So. Yeah, that's okay. I was just trying to find out. Anyway. Yeah, there's a lot of comments. That's why I don't really keep up with the comments either. I'm trying, and there's no update. Yeah. Creek for like Halloween. 
that would be not if he's on the loose. If they catch him, but not going for a treat unless he's caught. Yeah, I'll stay in the cabin in the movie, and then he pops out. I would, that, if they catch him, I wouldn't mind staying at, at French Creek. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe we'll have an, a party at French Creek. Get like a cabin for all the locals. But after they catch him. Because uh, I probably wouldn't have a party there. Um, but anyway, I would never... I don't think I would stay there right now. I would have actually advise against staying there until they catch the guy, just in case. Because that's the last thing I would want to be stuck in is a cabin with that guy in the backyard. Especially if he's, like, angry with a gun. But somebody's staying in the cabin over there. I thought it was him. Obviously not. It's scary. Why is French Creek scary? Because there's a killer on the loose. And every scary movie with a killer, typically, I mean, not every, but a lot of them, they start with like a cabin. So uh, that's not a good mix. I mean, it's really not. If there wasn't a killer on the loose, I wouldn't mind. But I'm not trying to get caught up in that. And that's what I mean. It kind of affects the community. I can feel that because I would I wouldn't mind staying at French Creek if he was like in prison or dead, but he's not, and I don't even know the guy. So yeah, I'm not. I don't even know how we got on this topic. But, like, we ran into the bathroom at one point at French Creek, and it looked like a, out of like something out of, like, a Michael Myers movie. He said we don't have, like, he doesn't have many friends. That's sad. We're all friends. But I wouldn't be surprised if that guy goes to um, the French Creek. I don't know if he's spotted or, like, it doesn't make sense. So they saw somebody. And that's why it's important to stay inside, because just so they don't mix you up with him. So somebody was in the woods. Presumably, it was him. safe to assume, but they don't have an image of him in the woods, so I don't know. Imagine if it's not even him and they're wasting this time. That's what I mean, so I don't know. It's a weird situation. I don't know. Imagine if it's like a streamer or a TikTok running around the woods. That would be crazy. I would hope not, but... And the gun is half his size, isn't it? If he's that small, it goes up to his what? Belly button? So, is he running with it? And why put a sniper... Like, why put a scope on something like that? Or, I don't know. Anyway... We're just riding at this point. But uh, hopefully they catch the guy dead. Because 
were alive, but I mean, at this point, it, it doesn't matter. Just get them off the streets. Or the feet, get them out of the fields and off the, the trees, not the streets. He hasn't walked on the streets, as far as we know, except the porch to get to that one um, friend's house. You want to check the scanner? Nothing, nothing new. 434. Yeah, Jason, I'm going to send out a message to Marcus Avenue. Perfect. Where's my TD bomber in the house? Can't tell from the deck whether it's ours or Roy Goodman. Hey, red track. What are they talking about? inside the perimeter. That would actually make a really good clothing line for guys and girls. That'd be interesting. Perimeter. <laughs> it, the perimeter. But it's the opposite. So it's like a contradicting... happened tonight um they think they saw the, the murderer on radar or not radar um, thermal imaging so they're looking for him on the 1100 block of prizer which is where we were last night set up which is that's, that's like the most mind-boggling part of this all we should have stayed there because that was a really good spot out of nowhere the guy would have come running through the fields that would have been wild. But I don't think he ran on Prizer. Well, they, they're staging on Prizer. It's such a, it's a very confusing, every time they have a sighting, it's so confusing because they give like four locations. Like they said Prizer, they said it was next to a silo, but the silo is not on Prizer. So I don't know. It's very weird. Then his, how fast can he run in boots? I guess you can run in boots. They're shifting the perimeter? Is that a thing? Like, are they really?
Is Jonathan live? Or Grizzly? Is Jonathan or Grizzly or Mel or Recovery Addict? Or I guess Recovery Addict's always, he's on. But is, um, who else is on the ground here that you guys are watching? I guess JLR. Is he live though? No, oh, that sucks. Okay, you're you're here, true crime weekly. I'm trying to think where else you guys can go after because I'm going to get off in a minute so you guys can keep up with it. If I hear anything, I'll tweet something, but I don't know if it's going to go anywhere tonight. Yeah, let's do that. You guys gotta do something. Maybe go to bed. It's almost five. But no, you guys are from around the world. That's a lot. So I guess kind of all over. So the T Rev. If it when I go back, it would have to be something like wild, because the only way we're gonna get a shot of this is we're gonna be back tomorrow, no matter what. But I'm mean, like if. They catch him or kill him. Nobody's gonna get anything. Maybe an aerial shot, but I can't fly. So, four forty-four. But we'll still be there tomorrow, because I think he'll still be there tomorrow. Oh, I asked. I asked if um anybody else was live. That's why they're saying names. They're, they're allowed. It's late. Oh, yeah. Jonathan has to leave. Oh, I'm ready for bed. That was a long day. Or two days. We've literally been there for two days. Concrete. Like, well, more than two days, but we haven't left in two days. The rest of Chester County now. We'll be back tomorrow. Or, I guess today. Later. The only update is that they saw something on thermal, and they think it's the escaped prisoner. Um, yeah, that's about it. And it's on the same block that we were on last night. But I'm thinking about, I want to see the video from last night and see if we see anything that's interesting because I wonder if he was in the area. Well, obviously he was in the area because he popped out today, if that's him. And then what else is weird is earlier today, while we were, I think I actually tweeted about this. Um, there was a, a false alarm that went off, like as far as a sighting on Fi or Prizer. I keep saying Pfizer. Prizer. And they said it was a kid playing in the in the field. I don't know what they meant by that because I wouldn't go in that field. I, I mean, I went in a little bit, but it was kind of freaky. So, but they didn't go. Like they didn't. They didn't go. And then now they get a report about this. 
I mean, or not a report. They see them, apparently, and they go moving in. So we'll find out. No, we're good. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is sign off, and I'll be back tomorrow. Go to bed. Lock your doors until they catch them. I think lock them anyway, because, I mean, just do it. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, we'll see you tomorrow.